Hi folks, this is, uh, I don't know, episode six, seven, something like that. Anyway, there's my old dirty hat again. And here is the entertainment center slash TV stand that I've been working on for what seems like almost forever, which is what any really good challenging project seems like. I think last time I showed you we got the drawers in, got them finished, got the inside finished because my wife demanded that. Got the first coat of uh, polyurethane on it, and it sounds like this. Rougher than a corn cob, but that's what a first coat usually does in my shop. Uh, I'll lightly sand the nibs all down on it. Those are little tiny dust nibs. I don't know why they call them that. And uh, then we'll get started on finally finishing it, except for uh, one project due beforehand. And that is the uh, doors. Yeah, uh, this side is going to have doors, and this side is going to have door, a door, and we're going to make them out of, once again, the Republican Valley walnut, and might have to do a little bit of trimming on that one. Yeah. So, uh, what I am doing, you can see the chalk mark, maybe, on the... Uh, some edges that signifies that those two edges are square with each other if you don't see the chalk mark that means those two sides aren't square with each other and so when i cut them down to size i will cut off here and endeavor to make everything square because it's going to look a lot better with uh, everything being square the doors will eventually go, oh boy, stay there, stay, stay. Well, you get the idea. The doors will be like that, and there will be inset doors, and of course open outward. And uh, what am I doing to try and get everything square right now? I'm using this nifty little machine. It's called a... Grizzly joiner. It's a 6 by 24 inch. It has got blades in there that will cut your fingers to shreds and nothing flat, so you never want to take off the guard. Uh, this is one of my multi purpose stands. Uh, it is strong enough to hold a car up, uh, but fortunately, it doesn't have to. It only has to hold this grizzly up, which weighs. Last time I tried to lift it and put it on here, about 500 pounds. That might be an exaggeration. And then I've got my Ryobi sander ready to go. Ooh, looks like I need to put a new piece of sandpaper on that. And then uh, last, but certainly not least, is the mortising machine, which eh, I should use more often, but I don't. So, uh, that's this episode. We're going to go to work on the uh, doors, get them all uh, nice and set up. I'd let you watch, except for the fact that this is the kind of noise the mortising, or the joiner machine makes. I'll tell you this, you don't want to take any uh, uh, too long of that without... Uh, noise canceling headphones so uh, we're going to call this and into it oh and there's my coffee and go ahead and get started and uh, i'll probably get back with you when i go to make these doors uh three pieces of wood into one i think it'll look nice the idea behind it is to look somewhat similar to this. Uh, that's a picture, by the way. And uh, 
not have three doors or three drawers, but one door that looks like three doors. All right, now we'll give it a shot, but here's the raw material that I'm starting with, so wish me luck. And talk to y'all in the next episode. Goodbye.